The pattern I picked for this particular project was from Lady Boutique series, which is a Japanese uh, pattern brand that's actually released over 3,700 books. The reason I picked this particular piece from the book was because it's kind of modern, it's a little bit different, it's not something I would normally pick off if I'm shopping at any of the department stores or um, something that I might even see. I haven't seen anything like this in stores before, so I was kind of excited to try something different, have a little bit of a challenge, work from something that had absolutely no directions, and uh, test my knowledge in sewing and seeing how much of my skills I can remember. So the fabric on this particular piece is beautiful. The texture is great. It, it drapes super well. Uh, but at the same time, I knew that uh, with something as structured as this skirt, I needed to use something that had a little bit of body so that it wouldn't look like a balloon on me. The most challenging part about making this particular skirt was because it is from a Japanese sewing pattern, which I have had some experience sewing with before, but not too much. Uh, there are a lot of things to take into consideration. Uh, for one, all the measurements are centimeters versus inches, so I had to translate the relevant information in the pattern book in order to be able to use it. Then I had to go off of no directions whatsoever and just kind of use what I knew from sewing previously and how garments are put together and incorporate that in what I was doing. So there were steps that were not included in the book, at least from the diagrams. The challenging part was not just the translation, not just the sizing, but also being able to pattern grade the, the, the piece itself as well because sizing is so much more different in Japan than you know United States the longest was actually the bias binding that I put into the seams I did a Hong Kong finish on all the seams as well as the hand stitching for the hem um, all of this could have definitely been avoided had I used a different fabric that didn't unravel as easily, but having to take the time to make sure all the seams were encased and uh, not fraying was the part that took the longest. Wearing this skirt, it's kind of nice because the material is so much like suiting. Uh, I like how um, I can wear this to a nice place to go out for drinks. I can wear it to work. It's really nice to have something that's sleek and it's very cool and it's very modern. It feels like a, a nice general piece to have that you can whip out at any time and kind of pair up or pair down. Uh, I can wear some heels with it or I can wear a pair of Converse with it and feel totally comfortable both ways. If you would like to make this particular pattern, I definitely recommend taking it slow. Don't rush yourself. Uh, recognize that you're gonna have to do a lot of steps in order to get to the completed piece, even before you start sewing. So the first thing would be to uh, translate the sizing. Try and make sure that you can find out what the materials are specifically that you need, uh, measurements of those materials. Um, I also recommend taking your time when you're tracing out the pattern because everything's going to be printed out on one giant sheet with every pattern piece in that book overlaid on top of each other. So get some graphite paper, take your time tracing it out, and then from there measure out the pattern pieces directly so you have accurate measurements as to what is actually on the sheet because you're not going to be able to understand those directions in the book. So measure them yourself, me take the, translate all the me measurements in the book, and then go from there. Start slowly, use all the knowledge that you've already gained sewing other pieces, and just remember that it's, sewing is universal. The, the rules are the same across the board, so don't be intimidated. Start slow, take your time, and have fun. <laughs>